Let's let you remind you WRPI is on the World Wide Web. Point your browser to www.wrpi.org, and you can hear our broadcast 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So long as WRPI is broadcasting, we have read broadcast on our internet feed. Once again, it is www.wrpi.org. Also, also, WRPI is seeking current RPI students to make live calls of games such as this one between RPI and Denver. There are opportunities this season to get on the air for men's and women's ice hockey and later on baseball if you so desire. If interested, contact us at wrpi-sports at rpi.edu. RPI and Denver just about ready to drop the puck. It's going to be a tale of offense and defense before this series starts. The Engineers, the sixth ranked scoring team in the country, coming in at 3.75 goals a game. And the Pioneers, the third best team at denying goals, just 1.94 goals against for the Pioneers. Similar records for the two teams, RPI 8-5-3 and, and Denver 8-6-2. and two. Starting goalies, Sam Britton for uh, Denver, great record, 8-5-2, and two, better numbers, 171 goals against, 9-4-4 save percentage. Those are good for second and third in the nation as far as goals against average and save percentage. We drop the puck. Puck deep in Denver territory, around the near side half wall, trying to throw it to the middle. Nearly gave it away to Haggerty, couldn't keep it in the zone. Guy LaBeouf picks it up and fires it back in. It comes on goal, may have been headed wide. Britton will glove it and leave it behind uh, for Didier. Through center, given away, picked off by Higgs. Over to Haggerty, one-timer save, made rebound Higgs. It's loose on the doorstep and swept away. To the near side boards now, Pioneer is on it, trying to clear through center is Shore. He connects there. Into the RPI zone now, far side. Moving in, that's Zajac, Nolan Zajac, the youngest brother of the four Zajac brothers, and you've probably heard of the other, at least two of the other three, as the engineers have it in their own zone. Milos Babella on it behind his own net. He'll cycle off to Babella, trying to clear up the far point. It will be kept in over there by Butcher. Towards net, knocked down in the far circle by Dolan, loose at the side of the cage. As the buff tries to knock his man over and does, Puck goes behind the net around to the near corner, battle for it there. Dolan trying to dig away. He'll get there. Help from Zaleski. He'll play it behind. Back for Dolan in the near corner. Has some room to look up ice. Dolan will just chip it short to the near side for Schrader. He's pressured. Puck tips out to center, where it's controlled again by the Pioneers. David Mikowski, senior from St. Louis, Missouri, works at far side to his defensive partner, Will Butcher. Gets it back. Mikowski through center, connects there. Hit thrown on La Raza, just into the RPI zone. The engineers clear it back out to center. All the way down the ice it goes. It will be icing on RPI. Minute and a half in the first period. No score. Shots 2-0 in favor of the engineers. A well, bad turnover by Denver in their own zone. It led to basically a 2-0 on uh, between Ryan Haggerty and Brock Higgs. And when you have a 2-0 on with those two, chances are they're going to score. But when you have Sam Britton in that, your chances of them not scoring are a little better. 18-27 left to play the first. No score. Face off to the left of Scott Diebold. Pushed towards the point. Back to get it. Phil Hampton for the engineers behind his own net. Up the far wall. Connects to Babella. Now ahead to Rajik in the neutral zone. Far side. On the move. He'll just filter it into the far corner and chase after it himself. Tie up in the corner. Schrader there. Towards the point. Hampton on it. He'll slide it right back down low. Around to the near corner it goes. First one there is Nick Neville. Can't clear. It's picked up by Luke Karate. Chips it right back into the far corner. Roger fighting for it there with Schrader. For the Pioneers is Neville. To the middle of the ice, looking for McGowan. Couldn't get his stick on it just out of his reach. He'll pick it up in the near corner now. Defensive play without his stick for Denver. Wraparound try. Shot by Schrader from a tight angle. It'll be covered up by Britton. You can see Britton, 6'3", 215. Uh, pretty big in net there. And you saw him cover a lot of the net there from a tight angle shot. Yeah, and he covered a lot of the net. And he took the uh, scoring chance away. Mark McGowan just missing on the... Uh, the rebound attempt, and then on the wraparound with Zach Schrader, he took the net away, and he's just covered it up. He realizing he has a defenseman with a lost stick on the ice. 17:46 left to play in the first, no score. Face off to the left to Britton, trying to win it back to Haggerty. He was bottled up, but kept in at the blue line by Bra uh, Bradley, and they'll say no. It looked like it left the zone, and it did. Ice, or excuse me, offside on the engineers. We'll have a stoppage here. A little over two minutes gone in the first period, scoreless. Yeah, this was the right call. Uh, Bradley definitely brought it back over the blue line, and then he took the shot. 17-4 uh, to lift the play in the first, no score, RPI and Denver. Face-off win for the engineers at center ice. They'll dump it in, roll it around towards the near corner. First one there is Didier. Center and out in front, a shot to go! Brock Higgs picks up number 12. It was a loose puck out in front, and Higgs in the right spot at the right time. Buries it for RPI. Well, it was misplayed defensively behind the net by Denver. 
and there was an RPM player just put it off the back of the net, and it took an odd hop off the back of the net. Let's see it on the replay. It took an odd hop off the back of the net, right to Brock Higgs, who was left all alone, point blank range. And I don't care if you're Sam Britton or you're Martin Brodeur, that's going to be a difficult one to stop every time. 17:30 left to play in the first one nothing RPI. As I mentioned, number 12 for Higgs. That's unfortunate for him, second on the team to Haggard, who leads the country still with 18. Even strength goal for RPI as the puck goes trickling in towards Scott Diebold off the draw. He'll cover it up there. Defensive zone faceoff coming for the engineers. So Higgs from Haggerty at 2.30 for RPI's first goal. Uh, Brock Hicks from Ryan Haggerty again at dynamic scoring line comes through. 17-18 left to play in the first. one nothing RPI. Faceoff win for the Pioneers. Puck trickles on goal. Save made by the left pad of Diebold. Another shot ramps up the stick of the defenseman. It's actually Tenorti over there to block the shot on the try by Loney. Yeah, a good job by uh, Scott Diebold. Good positioning. The puck uh, flipped up and over his shoulder and into the net. 17-12 left to play in the first one nothing RPI over Denver. Face off again now to the left of Diebold. Near side out to center. That's Tenorti. Puck rolling into DU territory. Pass out to the front of the net. Babella pressuring. Forced the turnover again. It's the second time the engineers have forced a turnover deep in Denver territory. Now a shot hits Babella from Zaleski. Picked up again here. Uh, this time by Garrett Allen. To the point, kept in by LaBeouf. Glove down. Trying to move it out to center as Mikowski, he will. Up ahead towards Allen, he'll pick it up near circle. Centering pass, knocked down by Leonard. Hit off his leg. Comes trickling in on goal, and Diebold's able to see it and hold on to it. Well, that was good positioning there, too, by Diebold. Um, Bradley was overtaking the shooter, which maybe he should have done. He was in the passing lane a little bit, but he was shaded more towards the shooter. And Diebold was over there, too, so Bradley lucky he got a piece of that one. Went off his leg and uh, harmlessly into Diebold. 16-41 left to play in the first. one nothing RPI over Denver. Face off in RPI territory near side. Now Pioneers uh, centerman has been tossed. Engineers win the face off cleanly. Luke Karate has it behind his own net. He'll move out to the near side now. Karate up the far boards. Off the wall. Caroms all the way to McGowan. It wasn't the intended target. Now a shot by McGowan block. Picked up Karate below the hash marks. Lost it. Back to the point. DeVito. He'll just... Feed it down low, looking for his man. It looked like uh, Bourbonnet broke his stick. He'll go back to the bench. That'll allow DU to move it out to center. To the RPI blue line. It'll be flipped in on goal and covered by Diebold here. Another stoppage. Yeah, a lot of confusion there for RPI. A lot of bad bounces right to McGowan, who wasn't intended for that pass. But uh, RPI kept the rush up and looked for DeVito. And uh, DeVito wound up losing a stick. And to get a new one, uh, which allowed Denver to, to break out. So... Uh, 16-15 left to play in the first, one nothing RPI. Face off again in RPI territory, near side circle. It'll be Shore on the draw for Denver against Higgs, and it's won by the Pioneers. Back behind the net it goes. First one there is Tabram. Tabram back to the point. Lalegia feeds it down low. Here's Quentin Shore. Looking to work it out in front at the side of the cage still. That's Loney. Loney's tied up by Dolan. Still battling for the puck. Now Higgs comes to help out. Loney on it. Centering pass. High slot. All tied up. And the engineers move it away. That was good team defense by both Neal and Haggerty breaking up the play in front. No chance uh, to get the shot away. Pioneers have it. Far side of their own zone now as the engineers get it deep. Knocked out of the air by Haggerty. He'll shoot it off the glass behind the Denver goal. Picked away by Didier. One of the three captains for Denver. Works up the far side. Now they'll connect to Loney. Loney just dump it in at the end of its shift. Comes in on goal. Diebold will cover as there was a man in the vicinity. That was Evan Jansen just off the bench. Yeah, just a smart, a smart cover by Scott Diebold realizing Denver was taking the change and they were coming, they were coming crashing hard. So he decided to hold on to the puck and get the face off in his own zone. 15-24 left to play in the first. one nothing RPI. Lean offensive zone win for the Pioneers. Picked up top of the far circle. That's Grant Arnold. Works it down low for Romig. Romig out of Austria. Working it back to the point. Shot high up on Diebold. He's able to hold on to it up in the chest area. Not where you're intended to shoot that puck from that point, but uh, kind of handcuffed Diebold. He's able to hold on to it. Yeah, 
Diebold looked actually looked a little surprised their shot actually came in. Um, and then it, he was standing up, and the puck just hit him in the chest. 15-09, left to play in the first, the one nothing RPI. Face off this time, far side RPI zone. And Roger in a little early. He's tossed. Schrader now to take the face off for RPI. Taken away by Leonard, who is up on the hash marks. He'll chip it off the boards, and they'll go into Denver territory. Controlled by Mikowski. Mikowski leaving it there for Butcher. Up the far boards comes DU out to center. Look ahead pass. Trying to connect with Jansen. Too far for him. Race for the puck. It will be icing on Denver here. 14.53 to go. First period. RPI still on top. 1-0 on Brock Higgs' 12th goal of the year. Yeah, LaBeouf had the angle on Jansen. Um, LaBeouf beat him by like a half a step. Uh, but a good angle by Guy LaBeouf um, to beat Jansen to get that icing. So the faceoff will come all the way down the end. Denver into the Denver zone. 14.53 left to play in the first one nothing RPI. Haggerty set up in his shooting spot right behind the faceoff man. This time it's Zaleski taking it. Pushed it ahead. Babella has it now in the near corner. Back to the point. Bradley has some room to shoot right on. And a save made by Britton. Yeah, and uh, Liberté was right there to make the deflection. I think he got a, a little piece of it as the puck just jumped up on Sam Britton, but uh, Britton was right there, had good positioning um, for the deflection too, so good job by him. 14-43 left to play in the first one nothing RPI. Zaleski again to take the draw, this time against Doremus. One by the Pioneers behind their own net. Nolan Zajac on it. Outlet pass too far for the intended target. Doremus all the way down the ice it goes, but the race will be won by Garrett Allen, the sophomore from Delafield, Wisconsin. Beats out the icing call. Puck to the far side. RPI zone chopped at by Haggerty. Can't get a piece of it. Controlled by Zajac, who had pinched up the boards. Didier throws it intentionally wide of the goal. Loosened the side of the net. Trying the wraparound. Saved by Diebold. He got an awkward position, but he made the stop. And he's just trying to clear it. Shot out of the ice surface by Haggerty. So faceoff will stay in the RPI zone. 14-17 left first period. RPI still up one. Yeah, Diebold, awkward position. He was, came out of position, and uh, Denver got this, the puck on the stick in a wraparound attempt. Diebold was uh, spread eagle on the ice, diving backwards towards the net, and the puck just hit him in the back of the leg, and, and it just swept over to the side. 14-17 left to play in the first one nothing RPI. Faceoff sits on the dot, worked it back to the top of the circle where Leledge just chips it deep again. Dolan will try to wrap it near side towards the point, kept in again. Neville trying to get his shot away. He's pressured by Babella. Alexis dump it into the corner. Flip to the far side, pinching in Leledge again. Leledge gets bumped by Zaleski, lost the puck, controlled by Bradley now. Up the near side boards, Babella pass behind Haggerty, taken back away by Denver and Tabram. Up ahead, Rister coming, shot right on, and sitting at the edge of the crease was Diebold. Easy save. He's able to hold on to it there. Yeah, right now Denver has the edge in shots, seven to five, but RPI has the edge on the scoreboard, one to nothing. And um, Denver seeming to find their offense right now as RPI back on their heels a little bit in the defensive zone. 13:47 left to play in the first, one nothing RPI. We've seen Denver with the willingness to exchange uh, positions now really. Uh, sticking to their spots, we've seen the defenseman jump up. We've seen Tabram drop back, one of the wingers. Now a good outlet pass far side from McGowan into the DU zone. He'll backhand it behind the net. Around to the near corner for Neal to the point, Karate. Karate, far point for Hampton. Flips one towards goal. Got, trying to get a tip. There's a penalty coming here on Denver as McGowan was uh, trying to look for that tip inside. It will be a power play chance for the Engineers, the first of the game for either team. We're going to get an interference call against Denver. It will be... Uh, the penalty will go against Josh Didier, who was uh, sort of trying to block the screen and made the right in front of the official, and the official made the call. Right now they're fixing Britain's net a little bit as the, uh, the net came off the, the posts. So 13.29 left to play in the first. one nothing RPI and Denver. RPI was going on their first power play and the first power play for either team so far. Josiah Didier, a junior out of Littleton, Colorado, and a fourth-round draft pick of the Montreal Canadiens to the box. First power play chance for the Engineers so far, 21.9% on the season. It's good for 16th in the country. Also have to mention the top-ranked penalty kill in the nation is Denver, coming at 91.5%. Engineers on the attack, though. Far side corner, Zaleski has it, back to the point for Dolan. Dolan, far side circle, Zaleski. He'll hold it there, works his way down low. He'll find Neal below the goal line. Now up top, Dolan, one-timer coming. Kind of knuckled on him and went high and wide of the goal. Didn't get all of it. 
That'll allow DU to clear all the way down. Comes in on goal, stopped by the paddle of Diebold. He'll leave it for Dolan. Another minute 23 to go on the RPI power play to get it to center ice. Higgs trying to filter it through. The defenseman didn't get there. They do get it to the blue line, however. Shot to the near side. Picked up by Neal at the near point. He banks it down low for Higgs. Higgs around to the far side for Zaleski. Runs past him. Picked up by Dolan. He tries to slap it back into the zone. Can't do so. Now an odd man rush. Shorthanded for DU. Walking in. A centering pass on the backhand. Put it wide. Wraparound tried. Diebel's out of his net. Shot was blocked by a defenseman. And cleared away by Neal. Odd looking play there. Diebold was all the way out of his net. The engineers had a couple of defensemen trying to crash just to get in the way of the shot, and they did. Neal has it now in the offensive zone. Looking to center. Tip try McGowan. Can't get the second one away. Tenorti does. Loose puck in the near circle. Finally slapped towards the point where it's picked up by Bradley. Bradley to the circle near side. Tenorti a wrister. That one went high and wide. Somehow stayed on the ice. Put to the far side now. It'll roll all the way down low. McGowan's on it. He gets bumped. Stays on the puck. Far side circle. Tenorti. The captain fires, save made, rebound pass behind the cage. McGowan back on it for the engineers. 24 seconds on the RPI power play. Shot by Tenorti, clanks off the top of the crossbar. Bradley fighting for it down low as he had pinched up all the way down the boards. Now Tenorti on it, near side circles. One-timer Neal, no, hit him in the skate, and that'll allow Denver to clear again. On the carry is Levin. He'll just dump it in after he crosses the red line. Seven seconds on the RPI power play. So it all but over, the engineers do threaten but do not score as it, we are now back to 5-on-5 five five hockey. 11.28 to go in the first period. The engineers dump it in far side. Babello the first one there. He gets bumped off the puck. Picked up by Shore. He'll play it back behind for Zajac. Zajac near side trying to find Mikowski. Do you having a little bit of trouble getting out of their own end. Zajac takes a bump from Rajic behind the cage. Rolling around towards the near point. Karate trying to keep it in and does. Kick towards the point by Mikowski and finally out to center. Luke Karate back on it for the engineer. Shoots it right back in. Stopped by Britton behind the net where it's controlled by Zajac. He gets pressure from Schrader. Towards the near corner it goes. Now back to the far corner. Schrader just mugging Zajac here. Dolan pinching in. Can't keep it in. And it's out to center. Karate from Rajic in his own end. He'll backtrack a bit. Now he goes D to D over to Dolan. Outlet pass through everybody. Picked away by Mikowski. He throws it right back towards the red line. Carrying into RPI territory now. Thrown far side by La Raza. Picked back up by Dolan. The engineers control behind their own net. Near side. Karate ahead for Bourbonnet. He'll flip it into the near side corner of DU's territory and chase it down. First one there, Bourbonnet. Loose between his skates. He gets bumped. There's two pioneers on him. Hit thrown by Higgs. Towards the near point. DeVito keeps it in. Didn't get all of it. Turns it over. Back comes Denver the other way. Far side into the zone. Moore. Correction, make that Romig. Captain near point Didier. Far point Neville. Chopped at by DeVito. Can't clear the zone. Now it's slipped out to center and Higgs jumps on it. One on two into the zone. He'll spin around in the far circle, wait for some help. Tries to throw it on goal. That was blocked and Didier comes away with it. Josiah Didier flips it into the far corner. Takes a bump. Engineers chase it down. It's Hampton. Over to Tenorti. Near side circle of his own end. Drops it back for LaBeouf. LaBeouf being pestered there by Moore. He'll backhand it into Pioneer's territory. He'll roll around to the near corner. Tenorti the first one there. Chips it behind. Haggerty wraparound try. Loose puck picked up. No. Tenorti tries to put it on goal. That was blocked away. Never got to Britain. Engineers do keep it in the zone, however, as it goes behind the net. Roll it far side. First one there is Levin. He takes a bump. To the far point, kept in Hampton, looking for the deflection in front. Haggerty on the backhand save made by Britton, who got over nicely and covered up all he needed to. Yeah, a flurry of offense by the engineers there. Let's go back to the power play first. The aggressive nature of the engineer power play enabled that two-on-one break. A good defensive effort on the other end when the D-Bold was out of the net to make the save. Then on the other end, uh, that puck just... Bounced a little bit too far for Haggerty. Gave Britain enough time to get over there. 9-13 left to play in the first 1-0 RPI. Face off near side. Another centerman toss. It's the third time we've seen that today. Neal now in on the draw. One by Denver behind the net. Nolan Zajac on it. Up the far boards. Too far for everyone. Dolan slams it right back in from just inside center. Towards the near side half boards. Neal keeps it in. Gets a touch pass back from McGowan. Now behind the net. Babella trying to work his way around. Babella back to the near side, still on the puck, and is doing a good job of just shielding it. Now he plays it off to McGowan and gives it right back. Far side half boards. Babella trying to cycle, lost it, and cleared out to center. Dolan flips it right back into the zone. Stopped there by Britton. He'll leave it for Didier. Didier takes the hit, does get it ahead out to center, 
And now into the RPI zone they come. Shore, near side circle, far side circle rather. Shot was saved by the pad of Diebold. The engineers clear it back out to center. Neville on it, backtracking to his own end for Denver. Connects to Loney. Loney on the handle, lost it. Nearly gave it away. Now it's chipped ahead, looking for Schrader by the engineers. And does a nice job just to keep it in the zone while he waits for reinforcements. Now Bourbonnet chipping off the back wall. Came down off the dasher for the Pioneers. Trying to clear out to center. They do. Kicked along by LaBeouf. Engineers control at center. Nearly an offside call, but they say that left the zone in time. Engineers will fire it right back in. Picked up by Denver. Far side neutral zone. Good back check there by Schrader to break things up. First one there will be LaBeouf. He chops it towards the near corner. Neal on it for the Engineers. He's being pestered there by Jansen. Picked back up by LaBeouf. Has time to look up ice. He'll play it back across to his defensive partner in Leonard. Cross ice pass far side. Schrader tried to make a move in his own blue line. Got poked off his stick. Chopped away by LaBeouf. Kept in by Denver. Walking in. A wrister off a tight angle. Goes off the back of the net on the try by Lalegia. Near side hash marks. Thrown cross ice. Lalegia on again. Turns and fires high and wide on the slapper. Picked up again near side by Arnold. High slot. Wrister. Save made by Diebel. Don't know how he saw it. But he was able to hold on. A good wrister from Daniel Dormus. And Diebold able to make the save. Yeah, Diebold threw a screen. Uh, you're right, Perry. Don't know how he saw that one, but it just hit his pad. And he was able to cover up for the rebound. Uh, let's look on the replay on the monitor up here. Yeah, he was doubly screened by three people. Uh, two of his own teammates and one Denver forward. And he made the save. 7.20 left to play in the first. one nothing RPI. Face off to the left of Scott Diebold. One by the Engineers. Tenorti chips out to center. Butcher back on it for Denver. Crimson and gold are the school colors of the University of Denver Pioneers. As they dump it in, they're wearing mostly maroon. There's a near giveaway there, or crimson rather, by Diebold. But he gets some help from Zaleski and a poor pass from Moore. Doesn't cause any problems for the Engineers. Tenorti to center. Flipping it ahead, looking for Haggerty. He'll try and chase it down and does. Tap it towards the far uh, corner took a funny hop off the Zamboni door opening. That kept Zaleski from controlling. Now Dolan shoots it off the back wall of the Denver end. Controlled by the Pioneers. Will Butcher, the freshman from Sun Prairie, Wisconsin, will start the breakout for the Pioneers. Near side, Mikowski gets as far as the red line. Filtered ahead nicely. Walking in. Legia trying to wrap it around. The goaltender, Diebold, ends up crashing into him. The puck goes way wide. Out to center, Babella. Up ahead for DeVito. They wave off the icing. Chase down behind the cage. DeVito aggressively goes after the puck, knocking it away from Didier. Now Zajac gets hit by DeVito. Taken off by McGowan to the point for Dolan. Kept in nicely. He finds DeVito in the far corner. Still being hounded by Zajac there. He'll look to cycle. Glove down by McGowan. Trying to feed it back down further. Intercepted by Didier. He plays it behind, but nobody there but Babella. It'll roll around to the near corner. Taking a whack at it there was Marcinou. Back at it, Didier. He'll have it in some room to move up ice here. Gets it as far as center. Where he finds Levin into the RPI zone. Offside as it was Marcinou, who's out ahead of the play. And Levin kind of did a little dangle at the blue line, forcing his teammate offside. Yeah, good back and forth action for both teams thus far in the first period. RPI scoring early in the first. Brock takes goal from right out front. That's where we stand, 1-0 RPI over Denver, 5.41 left in the first. And just a good battle uh, thus far. Face-off win for the Pioneers, neutral zone, they get it in. Lalegia. Engineers back on it, far side, their own end. LaBeouf, behind to his defensive partner, Leonard. Outlet pass to Rogic, moving in with speed. Good break up there by Neville. Chips the puck back out to center. Shot high in the air off the boards. Loose puck center ice. Rogic claims it. Takes a bump there uh, from Lalegia. Working at near side. Bourbonnet gets it deep. Stop behind the net by Britton. Trying to break out of their own end. Neville being hounded by Haggerty. Poked away by Neal. Loose puck right at the blue line. Forced on further by Jansen. Who he gets knocked off the puck. Engineers back on it. Neutral zone. Neal crosses center. Dumps it crossways to the far corner. Where it comes down for Grant Arnold. Arnold behind for Lalegia. Bottled up by Neal at the near side half boards. Schrader trying to come away with it. Couldn't get this shot off. It's taken away by Romig. Still in the zone. Nice play by Neal to keep it alive. Find Schrader. Schrader tries to give it back. It's broken up by Neville. And Denver will clear it all the way down. They'll wave off the icing right away. 
as Luke Karate back to get it. Karate, of course, playing uh, for Jim Montgomery. His three years in Des Moines. As did Milos Fabella. Of course, not all three years for the two, but Montgomery's three years. Now here comes Denver into the zone. Doremus drops it. Shot through traffic. Saved by Diebold. He covers this one up as Doremus went careening into the RPI cage. Faceoff will come in the RPI zone. Yeah, rebound came out, and uh, Diebold jumped out to cover the rebound, and Doremus just uh, flipped over him into the net. Uh, 4 9 left to play in the first. one nothing. RPI over Denver. I said Des Moines. I meant Dubuque. I'm sorry. I meant to say the Dubuque Fighting Saints uh, won the league title in their first year of expansion with Luke Karate as the captain. Uh, we'll have a full interview with Jim Montgomery in our first intermission, but uh, didn't mean to confuse folks there. It was the Dubuque Fighting Saints. Both in Iowa. As the puck is chipped into the far corner of the RPI zone. Trying to clear is Dolan. Can't get it out. Although Shore didn't do a real good job of keeping the puck in along the far side. Shot back into the RPI end. Race for the puck. And Bradley's going to get there. Puts a shoulder into Tabram. They both go down. Schrader, or excuse me, make it Zaleski trying to dig it free. And he does. He'll work behind the RPI net. Denver backs off a bit on the forecheck. 3.37 to go first period. RPI on top, one nothing. Working at far side, hit the skate of the linesman. And that'll benefit Denver here as RPI was changing behind the play, but not enough to create a scoring chance as they'll just dump it in. Bradley slapping it around to the near side of his own end. Can't get it out of the zone. Moore through uh, one man, was high and wide of the goal. To the far corner now. Babella ties up there with Doremus. Good stick work there by Babella. Gets it free out to center. He's being hounded there. Does get the puck away off to a teammate Borbonet who dumps it in. Zajac behind his own net. Near side corner. A little bit of room to work for Didier. Didier far side off the skate of Moore. Goes behind him. D will have to backtrack a bit back to their own end. They do control. D to D pass. Near side Didier. Far side connects to Moore. This time more cleanly into the RPI zone. They come. Moore trying to get around Leonard. He's tied up and put into the backboards. Two on two, they pair off behind the RPI cage. Shots now 10 to 8, Denver. As the puck is whipped towards the near point, pinching in Didier, trying to get around Borbonet and does. He's all the way below the goal line, feeding it on further for Moore, who's still there with Leonard. Leonard back behind for LaBeouf. LaBeouf, some time to work now. He throws it near side for Borbonet. Borbonet crosses to the neutral zone, crosses center, and now into DU territory, takes a hit from Didier, loses the puck, but does get it deep. Levin, he takes a big hit behind the cage. From DeVito, penalty coming up here on the Engineers. Off to the bench goes Britain. First power play chance comes for DU, but they still have the puck, so delayed penalty coming. Controlled behind, nearly a giveaway. That touched Neil's stick, and they still haven't blown the whistle. They're saying no control. Zajan, far side, now six skaters on the ice. Tapped to the far side, picked away by Hampton, and that's where the whistle comes. So a power play here for Denver. They're very strong on the man advantage. It comes with 152 to go in the first period. We'll get a chance to see the Pioneers' fourth-ranked uh, power play at 25%. And that was a very obvious charge by Jim, uh, Jimmy DeVito. Um, you may have seen it, the crowd react for a nice hit, but uh, DeVito did leave his feet. Um, so right in front of the referees, uh, that was a charge. Uh, 152 left to play in the first, one nothing RPI over Denver. So the engineers would like to see this power play carry over to the second period. It means they've done a decent job in killing it. Kept in. Nice play on the glove bar side by Mikowski. The defenseman gets it back. Some pressure comes. Works it near side for Butcher. Butcher high slot. Moore back ends it far side. One timer goes off the side of the cage or maybe the blocker of Diebold. Now working it out to the near point is Butcher again. Feeding it inside. Back in her save. Rebound can't be clear. Now it is. That was Bradley who got enough of it. And it's cleared all the way down by Brock King. Minute 30 to go on the penalty to DeVito. Minute 21 or so to go in the first period. RPI on top, 1-0. David Makowski on the move out of his own end. Feeding it far side into the zone. A shot by Legia. He'll know. He'll hold on to it. Works it back to the near point for sure. Now Legia again picks up top of the near circle. Far side. Markowski, good passing there. The puck went through Shore all the way behind the net. Doremus there. He takes a bump. Loose at the side of the cage. Shore on it. Penalty coming here. No, the net's off. Looked like it was knocked off fairly simply there. We'll get a stoppage in play with 52.4 seconds to go in the period. 
RPI defensively, let, they're letting Denver get their shots, but uh, so far Scott Diebold has been up to the task. Shots 11 to 8 in favor of the Pioneers right now in this period, but uh, on the scoreboard where it really counts, it's 1 nothing RPI. Face off one back by the Engineers. LaBeouf has it, he'll shoot it all the way down. Comes bouncing in wide of goal. Britton leaves it there. Going back to get it is Nolan Zajac. Feeding it far side for Levin into the RPI zone. Zajac bumped as is Levin. Bradley has it off the glass and out to center. It took a funny hop off the glass far side. That kept Olegia from controlling it. Olegia back on it now, neutral zone. He'll carry over center heist into the RPI zone. He'll chip it in and chase after it himself. Takes a hit from Bradley. Trying to wrap it back towards the near point. Hague has got a stick on it, but couldn't clear. Second effort gets the job done by Bradley. Eight seconds to go in the period. Maybe one more rush if they hurry for Denver. Zajac looking for the long outlet pass. Gets through everybody. Loney, the shot save made by Diebold. He made that way harder than it needed to be to Diebold as he kind of gave that rebound right out in front and gave Loney another crack at it. Yeah, I think he was trying to kick it right out to the corner, but he made a, a mistake and kicked it right out to Loney right up front. And uh, Loney with the shot in and Diebold just covered up. He actually did look behind him to see if it went in. Um, it would have been... It would have been, yeah, see. and you're right. It would have been close to Ed if that puck would have crossed the line before the horn sounded. Because you know the puck does have to completely cross the goal line before the horn. It was almost simultaneous to when Diebold made that final save, and if they even counted as a save uh, uh, to the horn going off. But uh, interesting first period. RPI again, like they've done so often this year, getting that first goal. Uh, there wasn't two goals like we've seen for RPI, but. Uh, didn't expect the engineers to get a lot of goals, especially early on this game with the way that uh, this Denver team's been playing defense this year. And uh, Sam Britton has been everything uh, that we've heard about him uh, through 20 minutes here. He's been superb, really, keeping RPI out for a second or third goal here. Yeah, I mean, and don't, you know, don't shortchange Diebold, too. He made quality saves in that period as well, keeping RPI in this game. It could easily be 3-1 to one right now. Um, but uh, Diebold doing a great job keeping RPI in this game. So we're going to take a short break. We'll return for the second period of play. Score here after one period is RPI 1. Ready? I'm here with Brock Higgs. Brock, that was some goal there. Tell me about it. Yeah, you know, it was a uh, good face-off win outside the zone there, and we got the puck deep, and then we just executed our forecheck. Uh, made him turn the puck over behind the net to Hags there, and Hags tried to take it to the net, and uh, just got a fortunate bounce there and was able to put it in. Yeah, you know, t you know, with that in mind there, tell me about the line. What, what really makes you guys work well together? You know, it's just like every line that we have. Uh, we got to keep our feet moving, we got to be physical, and we got to execute. And if we do those three things, we're going to have a lot of success. Yeah, heading into the second period here with the lead, one to nothing. Um, what's going to be the big message in the locker room to keep the guys pumped and keep the game going? You know, it's got to just keep executing. We can't have any lapses in uh, in effort there. We had a bit there in the first, and we got to we got to shore that up and come back even harder in the second. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. That's Brock Higgs. Score one to nothing. You're watching Engineers Hockey live on RPI TV.
Hi, this is Meet RPI TV. My name is Jose Benitez. I'm going to be the host of this talk show for at least the remainder of this semester. And here I have Mr. Doug Kingman, Senator from the freshman class, Senator Michael Goldenberg, sophomore class, right? Mm -hmm. And the Grand Marshal, Mike Dillon. Well, thank you for all for being here.
Kentucky, and we'd like to thank GE, Bowles, Second, CDPA, CDPHP, The Rock, Bank of America, J. Montgomery Scott, Kurt Shopper, Astro Vince, Andy Trails, Red Front Pizza, Tri City Rentals, EP Go, Carabas, Army, Troy Cabinet Makers, Ben and Jerry's, Warren W. Payne, William J. Keller and Sons Construction, and Tri City Battlecats, all proud sponsors of Mark Me I Happy. Welcome back, hockey fans, to the Houston Fieldhouse on the campus of Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute for today's second period of action between the RPI engineers and the Denver Pioneers. You're listening to live coverage of Engineer Hockey on 91.5 FM WRPI Troy. The score after one period of play is RPI 1, Denver 0. Ed DeGarren along with Perry Lascaris here on the call for you. Before we get started with the second period of play, we'd like to thank the Rensselaer Union which provides the funding for WRPI and all club-related activity of the Institute, including WRPI's coverage of RPI men's and women's hockey, football, and baseball. Also, I'd like to remind you, WRPI is on the World Wide Web. Point your professor to www.wrpi.org, and you can hear WRPI's broadcast 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Engineers winning 14 of the first 22 face-offs in this game for the first period. Shots early on, 13-8 to eight in favor of Denver. RPI now back to full strength. There was eight seconds remaining on that power play. Shot from a tight angle there by Marcinou and held onto again by Diebold. Save number 14 in the game for him just 17 seconds into the second period. Yeah, nine seconds remaining on the Denver power play. Denver had the advantage, and they were able to get the uh, shot in off the uh, angle from the corner, right from Arsenal, 1943 left to play in the second, 1 nothing RPI. Face off win again for Denver, saved by Debo. It's behind him, loose in the crease, and he's able to cover. It was only about a foot behind him, 
But he had the awareness to turn around and smother it before anyone was able to pounce on it. Yeah, again, I, I don't think anybody else knew where it was. They saw Debo look behind him, and then everybody else realized that the puck was laying behind him, too. So, uh, 1939 left to play in the second one nothing RPI of Denver. The 15th save of the game by Scott Debo. Face off again, tied up on the dot. Pushed behind by Zaleski, picked up by Leonard. Nearly intercepted there by Tabram. He was knocked down. Pinching up the boards is Butcher. Plays it back to the point. And Loney's there. Faked a shot, throws it in front. Kicked towards goal by Shore, maybe unintentionally. Now worked out to center by RPI. Shore back to get it. He'll backhand it back to his defensive teammate in Butcher. Butcher gives it back. Outlet pass, looking for Allen. Too far for him, but the icing on Denver and uh, Allen has a pretty good argument there that he was the first one down the ice, but they'll call it icing anyway. Uh, J- Jim Montgomery is pleading his case too and say, hey, it touched somebody. Uh, now there's talking to the official, um, but I don't know if Montgomery's going to win this one. Uh, actually, faceoff is coming out to neutral zone. Um, not all the so way are down. are they changing their mind? Maybe. Maybe yeah. they're just calling it offside. No, they can't make up their mind uh, here. Center ice face off. <laughs> Less than a minute into the second period, already some action. RPI on top, one nothing. Over Denver, engineers number 18, the Pioneers number 20 coming in this week. Two game series, first of three games for RPI this weekend, although third is an exhibition against the U.S. under 18 team. Big hit neutral zone by Tenorti, ends up going down himself, picked up Abella, has a man in front, looking to feed it off the pad of the goaltender. Britain now puck out towards the point. And Tenorti can't keep it in. Engineers need to touch up. They will. Didier up the far boards into the RPI zone. Spinning there with Allen. Leaves it for Levin. He's sandwiched into the boards by Karate. Puck comes free to the near side of the RPI end. Tied up there. Dolan trying to work it towards the point. Didier does a nice job to keep it alive. On top of the puck is Marcinu. Finally, he gets up. Schrader can't clear. And Rogic plays it back to Karate. Wrap it around behind to the far side. Tenorti's bump. Chipped out to center. Nice play by Roger. Gets it ahead to Schrader. He can't control, however. Didier back to get it for Denver. He shields the puck all the way behind his net. Around to the near side. Roger trying to keep it alive in the zone with McGowan. And they do so. Zajac back to claim it for Denver. Mentioned earlier, the youngest of the four Zajacs, Travis, Darcy, and Kelly, are his brothers. One of them in the NHL. Two of them former uh, Fighting Sewer UND players. One of them a union player. That would be Kelly. Haggerty into the zone now. Two on two on the backhand. Flips it wide into the corner. Hit off the defenseman's leg. Picked up by McGowan. McGowan tries to cycle. It's turned over. Tabram back for Denver. On the move to the blue line. Drops it back. LaRaza into the danger area. But in the air will be a hand pass on RPI. It was gloved down to Haggerty. So faceoff will come in the RPI zone. 17-27 left in the second period. It's one nothing RPI. Yeah, and again, RPI really not getting much offense thus far in this period. Only uh, this time last period they had their first goal by Brock Higgs. Um, but so far not much offense in the uh, early goings of the second period. 17-27 left to play in the second, one nothing. Faceoff win. Nice move to get free by Lelegia. Takes a shot, and the blocker save made by Diebold. Picked up near side Haggerty. Took his eye off the puck and didn't control it. Shot off of Haggerty by Hampton. He'll go back and claim it in the near corner of his own end. Does get it as far as Ryan Haggerty. He has an assist on the RPI goal so far, but no goals of yet. Tipped to the far side, neutral zone, into the RPI zone again. Jansen trying to get on the end of it. It's whacked out to center by the engineers. DeVito is the only one who knows where it is. The two defensemen just off the bench skated right past the puck for Denver. Back to the near side corner. Neal pinches in. Matt Neal on it behind the cage. They trying to make a move around Neville. Feeds it back to the point for Leonard. He'll work down to the hash marks before chipping it deeper. DeVito tied up but spins away from a check from Butcher. Still DeVito. Works all the way back to the point. Flips it deep looking for Bourbonnet. Bourbonnet behind for Neal. Neal holds it near circle to the point for Bradley. Wrist one towards goal. Well wide. Caram's off the back wall. Picked up by Leonard who pinches in. DeVito. Towards the near side for Neal. Good chemistry here by this RPI line, which has kind of been makeshift. As it chipped off of a player by Bourbonnet and all the way out to center. All the way down the ice at goals. Rolling puck. It will be icing just barely on Denver. As it just had the legs across the line before Leonard 
Chris Gaynor down. Yeah, good sustained uh, shift for RPI right there uh, between Neil and DeVito. And uh, I think it's a little bit hate down there, too. 16-12 left to play in the second. one nothing RPI over Denver. And we haven't seen the Liberté since that first period. So that was Bourbonnet with Neil trying to mix and match there are the engineers. Shot by Karate was blocked out to center. Back to get it is Tenorti. Takes a look around as Denver tries to make a partial change behind the play. Into the Denver zone comes Tenorti. He gets upended. Puck shot deep by the engineers. Roderick trying to get on the end of it. His stick was lifted. And now it's played up the far boards. Trying to connect there with Loney. He's knocked off the puck. Puck comes free behind the cage. Loney on it again. Takes a bump from Hampton. Loney near side. Let's it run all the way free. Mikowski a shot through traffic. Takes the deflection. Pops in the air off the stick of Diebold. He's able to hold on to it. Yeah, Diebold made the save and uh, the puck just sort of rolled right up his stick and he just casually uh, stuck his glove out and the puck landed right in the glove. So shots right now 17-9 in favor of Denver. So RPI getting out shot uh, nearly 2-1 right now. But RPI has the one nothing lead. 15-38 left to play in the second. one nothing RPI. Face off to the right of Scott Diebold, the RPI junior netminder. Off to a good start to the season. After placing Jason Kasdorf, who's out for the year, that shoulder injury. Kept in by DU. LaBeouf trying to clear. Legium in a nice play to at the blue line to keep it in. Walking in a shot, no a wraparound. Blocked away by the engineers, might have been Leonard. Again, the Legia faking the shot. Another, another try here from La Raza. That one goes wide as well. Lelegia back to the point, far side, finds Mikowski. Top of the near circle, now a cross ice pass nearly gets through everyone. Now maybe a two on one chance for the engineers. Look ahead pass from Leonard to Neal. Now Neal goes to the net. Shot and a save made, getting across the cage. There was Britton to deny Curtis Leonard, who jumped in the attack there with a two on one. Shot from the far point by Zaleski goes wide. Caroms all the way around to the near point, and that'll allow Denver to move out to center. LaRaza gets bumped at the blue line, lost the puck. Neal trying to feed it forward. He was tripped up, and a penalty coming up here on Denver. It'll be tripping on LaRaza. Well, it was a very slow developing two-on-one with Matt Neal and uh, Bradley down there. Or, and uh, enabled Denver to get back a little bit and come on the back check. And, uh, you know, Matt Neal just sending the pass in and Britton doing a good job uh, sliding to get over there to make the save. 14.36 left to play in the second. one nothing RPI over Denver. RPI will go on a second power play of the game. So junior Zach LaRaza goes off the seventh round draft pick Phoenix Coyote. In the penalty box. Second power play chance for the engineers in this game. They were unsuccessful in their first trial. They looked good. Move the puck around well in the offensive zone. Engineers have it. Center ice. Milos Rubella will carry in. Top of the circle, knocked off his stick, fanning on the clearing attempt, allows RPI to keep it in the zone. McGowan has a shot from the slot, go wide. It's a low shot along the ice. Picked away by Denver. They'll move it out to center, intercepted by Tenorti. He'll carry it right back in. Shields the puck and dumps it in. Goes behind. Zajac, the first one there. He's hit. Didier trying to clear and does all the way down. Scott Diebold will stop it behind his own net. Leaves it for Bo Dolan, the senior out of St. Paul, Minnesota. He'll work it through center ice. Dolan across the center. No, he'll drop it back for Neal. Neal carries it far side. Just on side is Zaleski. He'll has it now in the far corner. Behind for Higgs to the point for Haggerty. He's being pressured. Flips it towards the top of the circle. Zaleski pokes at it. Moved out to center by Denver. Three on two shorthanded. And it'll be dumped in by Arnold, who didn't want to take any chances there. Haggerty ahead for Neal. Too far for him. As Lalegio just gloves it and fires it right back the other way. Turning and clearing now is Marcinou. And RPI power play not much on it with 30 seconds to go. Haven't done a whole lot here. 13.03 left, second period. 1-0 RPI with the lead. Engineers breaking out once more. DeVito far side, dumps it in, takes a high hit there from Didier. Denver another chance to clear, and they whip it all the way down the ice. That time it was Matt Marcinou, the freshman from Calgary. Bradley has it. Maybe one more rush on the power play for RPI. Nine seconds to go on it. Schrader will carry in near side. Poked off his stick and slapped back into the RPI zone. Picked up again by Leonard. Leaves it for Bradley. Near circle. Penalties expired. We're five aside. With 12 and a half to go in the second. 
Intercepted there by LaRaza. Gives it over to Butcher, who goes DDD to Didier. Didier up the far wall, bottled up right in front of the Denver bench area. And the puck finally comes free into Denver territory, poked along by Schrader. Loose puck in the slot, and we're going to get a whistle here as it's covered up by Britton. 12-11 left to play in the second. 1-0 RPI over Denver. No offense at all for RPI on that power play. Uh, it seemed like they couldn't get out of their own way, and they couldn't get anything started. Denver seemed to have a good read on the engineers during that penalty kill. Uh, good job by Jim Montgomery and the Pioneers uh, shutting down RPI on that power play. Talked about earlier, but Denver, the top-ranked penalty kill in the country. 77 of 84 killed now for the Pioneers on the season. Over 91%. Out to center, bouncing puck. Waved at and missed by Hampton Moore into the zone. Good back check there by Milo, Milos Babella to take the puck away. Just picked his pocket. Now Milos will skate up near side neutral zone. Trying to feed it ahead for Zaleski. Turned around by Moore. Carried in. Here's Shore taking a wide angle. Shoots high and wide. He was forced wide by Karate. Picked up near side. Loney keeps it in the zone. Shore takes a hit from Hampton. Puck behind the RPI cage. Near side Babella. Hands it off to Hampton. He gets... Checked a bit. Now Zaleski on the carry out to center. Uses his body to shield the puck well and dumps it in. First one there will be Tenorti. Picks it up in the near corner of the Denver zone. Feeding it out front for Higgs. Higgs trying to step around a stick check shot. Saved there by Britton. Picked up by Higgs again in the far side corner. Kicks it to himself behind the net. Higgs centering pass. One timer goes wide from Neal. Neal swinging at it. Still trying to get control of it. Picked up again by Higgs. Brock Higgs behind the cage. Looking for the wraparound. Spins around. In the far corner. Pressured by Shore. Over to Neal. Centering pass hits a body looking for Haggerty. He'll skate it down far side circle. Haggerty off the wall. Picked up by LaBeouf. Feeds it right back into the near corner. Takes a hop and puck disappears. Did that leave the rink? It did. Off the dasher and disappearing act there on that dump in really by LaBeouf. It was a good play by him, but it ends up leaving the rink. Nice vision by Matt Tenorti to find Rob Kings coming off the bench all alone. Um, and a nice save by Britton and then a good sustained pressure by the engineers until that puck uh, just mysteriously dis disappeared. It was harmlessly dumped in by LaBeouf. I'd like to remind you, you're listening to live coverage of RPI Hockey, 91.5 FM, WRPI Troy, Perilous Garris, Edgar Garrion here on the aforementioned WRPI, RPI and Denver men's hockey here from the Houston Fieldhouse. The engineers with a 1-0 lead and they're putting the pressure on. Shots are 18-12, but... RPI knocking on the door. There's a centering pass that goes all the way through everyone and all the way down the ice. RPI will have to try and get there. Bradley gets run off the puck. Trying to stick handle behind the cage there was Romig. Now it's back out to center. Zajac spinning around neutral zone. Gives it off to Didier. He had pressure coming from Borbonnet. Borbonnet still trying to track down Didier. Leaves it for Zajac. Long outlet pass to center. Connects. LaRaza into the zone. Center behind Didier, who's jumping into the play. Loose to the side of the net, and it trickles wide. McGowan will get there. Trying to chip it off the far wall. McGowan with a high hit. He got his hands into Moore, but we play on. Karate spinning around in his own end. Loses an edge and goes down. Allen will try and track it down behind the RPI net. Back to the point. Butcher. Far side point. Zajac throws it to the middle. Hatcher was trying to cut to the back post there, but the pass was too far out in front of him. He'll backtrack to the point. Puck still in RPI territory behind the net. Picked up by the engineers, McGowan. Feeding ahead to Borbonnet. Borbonnet to center, and that's as far as that puck will get. As a big hit was thrown on Borbonnet by Allen. Borbonnet gets it back, chips it off the far wall, shot back into the RPI zone. Karate with an outlet pass, hits Levin. Loose in the high slot, Levin makes a move. He's tripped up by Karate, walking in a shot. Glove saved by Diebold. Looked like they could have got Karate for a trip there, but they don't call it. 9.17 to go in the second. Still 1-0 engineers. Yeah, that wasn't a good defensive uh, shift at all for RPI. Uh, Luke Karate down there catching an edge and he just being hounded by Denver forward. Good good job by Denver. And Diebold saw that shot all the way and he just had quick reflexes. And he was able to catch that one. 9.17 left to play in the second. 1-0 RPI over Denver. Face off to Diebold's left here. Neal on the draw. Picked off the dot by the Pioneers, but Higgs jumps on it and clears it out to center. That puck hit the face mask of Neal and goes out of play. This should be a face-off in the RPI zone if they get it right. Engineers will take a neutral zone draw, and I think they got it. That looked like it hit Neal right in the face mask and left the ice surface, but 
Referees disagree. Well, it's going to come out of the zone and help the engineers. 9-0-8 left to play in the second one nothing. RKI. Butcher off the draw, fires it on goal, right on, and it'll be held on to by Diebel. That's a shot from the neutral zone. Counts just the same in the stat department. Shots. Diebold again able to see it, long distance shot, and hold on and do a smart thing, just holding on for the face off. Shot towards the near side boards, chopped at by both Leonard and Loney, goes behind the RPI net. Feeding up the far wall, Neal had to backtrack for it, gets it as far as the near side neutral zone for Schrader. Schrader knocked off the puck there by Doremus, back to the RPI end where it's backhand back out to center. Now Schrader will dump it in far side, race for the puck. First one there is going to be Mikowski. He'll chip it high in the air. This will leave the ice surface again. We'll go off a kneel this time. We'll see what nope. they say here. No. So it'll be an offensive zone draw for the engineers. And that one very well may have come off of Neal again. But uh, engineers get the benefit of the doubt here. Yeah, again, Matt Neal doing a good job uh, just battling for those pucks. And I could have sworn <laughs> that it deflected off his stick. But I'm not on the ice, so... Uh, I'm not going to make the official call. 8.40 left to play in the second. one nothing RPI over Denver. Offensive zone draw here. Zaleski can't win that. It's won by Quinton Shore. DU has it out to center. Shore feeding it forward. Walking in. A shot goes just wide left of the goal. The try by Tabram. Around to the far side corner. Chopped towards the point but kept in by Shore. Shot from a tight angle. Was saved by Diebold. Kicked it away. Goes behind the net. Tie up there, Bradley, Zaleski, and Shore all behind the cage. Dolan comes to help out as well. Shore trying to work free from Zaleski and does far corner. Quinton Shore leads the team with nine assists. Trying to feed it in front, it was knocked away. Goes right through his legs, Sonority has it, scoops it off the glass and out to center. Race for the puck, first one there is going to be Matt Marcineau. Marcineau gets it back from Neville. Behind the net, feeds it over to... Lelegia shot back the other way. Engineers carry in near side. McGowan on the move in the circle on the backhand, trying to walk out in front. Never really got the shot away. Britton was able to keep it out anyway. Kind of flicked his stick at it on the poke check. Engineers back to their own end now. D to D from Karate to Hampton. Now up the near boards. Neville backhands it back the other way. Takes a hop at center ice. Puck just left there. Fid far side for Haggerty into the zone. At the hash mark. Stops there. Turns and shoots way high, and that'll go right into the netting. And we're going to get a face-off here. 7.19 to go in the second. It's still one nothing, Engineers. Well, that was definitely deflected by the Denver defense, and the face-off's going to come into the Denver off at, uh, the Denver zone. rather. Uh, 7.19 left to play in the second. one nothing RPI over Denver. When RPI gets settled, settled uh, they really have their offensive offense buzzing. Face-off win. Haggerty wrist one high and wide. Did a clean look at that one. Put it off the glass behind the net. Pinching up the boards is Leonard. Near side. Kicking at it is uh, Rajik. It's going to go behind the cage. First one there is going to be Matt Tabram for Denver. Trying to clear towards the point. Kicked in by LaBeouf. It's shot back the other way. This could be icing here on RPI. I know they wave it off right away. It'll be covered by Diebold. And he will hold on there. Uh, yeah, and Diebold had to play that one. Uh, he had a Denver forward crashing the net. Um as it was uh, Garrett Allen coming down to play the puck and Diebold had no choice but to hold on to that one. 6.55 left to play in the second. one nothing RPI over Denver. Face off to the left of Diebold. One by the Pioneers. One-timer coming from uh, Didier and it goes wide. It caroms off the backboards and hopping out of his net to cover this one will be Diebold once again. Yeah, Diebold again d doesn't want to take any chances of getting uh, of Denver getting the garbage goal, uh, so he hops out of his net and covers up uh, to prevent that from happening. 6:51 left to play in the second. One nothing RPI over Denver. Face off now to the left of Diebold. Hits off the side of the cage. A chance for Denver out in front and a pad save made. By Scott Diebold again. A careless play there by the engineers. It may have took a bad hop as well. Looked like just an ill-advised pass. Hit off the side of the net. Gave a backhand try for the Pioneers out in front. Now a turnover the other way. Higgs had to 
pulled out of the zone to maintain possession. Fired in by Dolan. Back to get it, Didier. Up the far boards, touch pass Loney, gets it right back. Loney on the move through center, stick handling there, takes a wrister, and a blocker save made by Diebold into the near corner. Pioneers still on it. Moore leaves it for Butcher, near side circle. Zajac fires one towards goal, swatted away by Karate. Right onto the tape of Tenorti, he'll head back to the direction. Hampton joins the play. Tenorti on the move, he'll backhand it deep. Hampton gets there, takes a swing at it, but missed it. It'll be tapped into the far corner. Ty Loney takes a look around, he'll feed it out to center. Nobody home. We get a whistle here, and we're going to get a penalty, I believe. Nope, the net was hand off. Hand pass. Oh, net was off. Net was off. Looked like I saw a hand pass call, but you're right. It's still off. 550 left to play in the second. one nothing RPI over Denver, and RPI precariously holding on to that one nothing lead here in the second period. It's been all Denver so far in this second. 5.50 on the clock here. Center ice draw coming. We're still playing five a side. There's only been three penalties in this game so far. Two against Denver, one against RPI. Marcinou up the far boards. Gets it as far as Levin. Taken back over by the engineer. Haggerty backhands it deep. It'll roll around to the far corner. Zaleski the first one there. Feeds it right back to the near corner for Haggerty. Trying to step around his man. Missed the puck and now allow Denver out to center. Here's Levin on the carry. Into the zone near side. Looking to feed it all the way across. A shot coming from Markowski. Scores! Well, you knew that was going to happen sooner or later. Um, you know, pretty much a, a loose three on two for RPI. Mikowski left wide open and just uh, puts it off angle past Scott Diebold. 519 left to play in the second. 1-1 RPI and Denver on Mikowski's goal as he just ties this one up and... Uh, not very, not a good period so far by RPI. It's been all Denver, and they finally cracked Diebold. David Makowski now tied for the team lead in goals with six. He's the uh, active top-scoring defenseman for Denver. That's his 80th point of his career in just his 117th game. That's a lot of points for a D-man. He showed his offensive prowess there. He ripped one right past Scott Diebold to tie the game at one. Puck in the far corner, Denver zone now. Higgs trying to chop at it. Shore can't get it out of the zone. Kept in by Dolan. Wrapping around to the far corner. First one there is Johnny Rogic. Behind for Higgs. Poked at by Didier. Didier takes a hit from Rogic. Scooped at by Schrader. Now it's chipped behind the net. Trying to turn with there is Higgs. Feeding it off the side of the cage. It ramps up the back of the net and comes down behind the net. Higgs back on it for the Engineers. Top of the far circle. He'll cycle it down low for Rogic. Rogic hands it off for Schrader. Knocked off his stick. Picked up there by Tabram. He'll flip it high in the air out to center. Bouncing near side. Loney going to get on it. Backhanded on goal. Save made by Diebold. Right out in front. The engineers cleared away. Out to center as Neville picks it up. Nick Neville on it now for DU. Far side connects. Into the zone. Allen. Drop pass there. Looking for Romig. Now Shore in the corner. Takes a bump from Bradley. A little over four minutes to go in the second period. We're now tied 1-1 between RPI and Denver here from the Houston Fieldhouse. Pinned up against the corner boards. Dolan has it. He's taking a bit of a whack there from Romig, but eventually works the puck out to center. Rolling puck. Race for it. Neville's going to get there. Borbany right on his tail. Nice work by Neville to work it loose and chip it out to center. Bouncing puck neutral zone. Phil Hampton on it. Chips it off the wall right back to Neville. Neville goes D to D, over to Lelegia, feeding it ahead. Just on side are the Pioneers. Good poke check there by Hampton to work it free from Allen. Off the wall by Hampton, up ahead. Into the zone by Borbonet. First one there is going to be McGowan for the Engineers in the corner. He gets bumped by Mikowski. Around to the far corner it goes. Chopped at by Romig. Borbonet back on it. He'll cycle. McGowan for the Engineers. Looking to turn out of the corner. Knocked off his stick for a second. McGowan will play it back to... DeVito, and now back on it is Butcher for Denver. Pass out ahead of everyone, intended for Allen, knocked down, the engineers will try to catch Denver in a change, they'll work it near side into the zone, Haggerty spinning at the point, he'll flip it deep, it'll come down off the dasher in the far corner. Zajac throws it high in the air off the boards, bouncing puck loose at the edge of the zone, now out to center, on the carry is Moore into the RPI end, avoids the hit of LaBeouf, shot off the base of the net from Marcinou. 
And now the engineers can't clear. Didier keeps it in at the far point. Around to the near side half wall, Haggerty plays it back. For no one in particular, Marcinuk does a good job to break things up. Picked up by Leonard. Far side, half wall, chips it off the glass and all the way out. This will go into the Denver bench. And we'll have a stoppage. 2.26 to go, second period. Shots now 25 to 13, DU. And the score is tied at one. RPI in Denver, and RPI really hasn't had a lot of offense this period. It's been all Denver uh, so far. Uh, but RPI had that early goal by Brock Higgs with, at like 2.30 and then nothing. Face off, one by the engineers in their own end. They move it quickly out to center ice. Babella dumps it in. Back to get it is Zajac. Avoids the hit from Tenorti. Puck sits behind the cage. Loose in the slot. Walking in a shot saved by Dolan. Rebound is going to be pushed out to center. La Raza into the zone. Takes a shot from a tight angle. It'll be gloved by Diebold. It was right about pad height on the try uh, by the winger, the captain, Zach Laraza. He's held on to by Diebold. Again, Britain makes the save, but it doesn't. It didn't look like anybody wanted the, the rebound as it skated about around four people um, down there. Good quality chance for RPI. Couldn't pull the trigger. 2 2 left to play in the second 1-1 RPI in Denver. Face off coming, RPI zone near circle. In a 1-1 game, won by the Pioneers. Good play by Leonard to force it back the other way. Rolling puck into Denver territory. Makowski has it. He'll leave it there for Lalegia. Out to center. Swatted at. Leonard's going to try and get there. Does get it as far as center ice. There are a couple of pioneers offside. They'll have to touch up. Now they do. That'll allow RPI to control near side. Leonard to the Denver blue line. Mikowski has it. He'll slam it off behind the net, and that'll leave the ice surface. That's a couple times we've seen pucks just jump off the, the dasher off the glass out of play. Yeah, 133 left to play in the second. 1 1 RPI in Denver. And RPI uh, right now looks like they're playing to get out of the of the period and uh, make their adjustments for the third uh, as it's tied at one. Face off coming to the left of Sam Britton. Tires have scored the only goal in this period to tie the game at one. We expected a low scoring game. The way that Pioneers have played things. Loose puck near corner. McGowan will work it on the cycle to Neal to the point for Hampton. He feeds it right back down low. Roll around to the far corner. Karate pinches in. Feeds it down low for Haggerty. Haggerty trying to work it off the wall. Takes a hit. Lost the puck. Pork towards the point. Levin has it. Over to Laraza. Looking to feed it through. And it went through the legs of Marcinou. It would have been off on a break if he had been able to hold on to that puck. Thrown through the high slot that time by Lalegia. It'll go behind the RPI cage. Out towards the point. Haggerty has it out to center. Haggerty on the move, he works it off the near boards, trying to get to it himself. Loney's in his way. He runs into Loney, wins the puck away. Haggerty, near side circle for Zaleski. Zaleski will carry it below the goal line, spins around there. Under a minute to go, 45 seconds left in the second period. Zaleski trying to cycle for Neal. Neal gets bumped into by Butcher. Coming to help out is Loney, he moves it out to center ice. Loney tripped up and falls down. He may have gone down a little too easily for the referees. Liking, so no penalty there. Butcher throws it off the far wall, gets it back from Levin. Levin off the glass, out to center. Backhanded along by Allen, shot back the other way by Bradley. Gloved down by Higgs, just into the zone. Far side, Babella poked off his stick to the point, kept in by Bradley with 11 seconds. Far side, Higgs looking to feed it in front. It was deflected, loose in the slot, turning and shooting. Tenorti, no, he couldn't get anything on it. Loose at the side of the net in the circle now, and now Loney will shoot it off the glass and out to center. And it would have been a breakaway, but the engineers once again seemingly saved by the horn as Allen would have been off. And for the second straight period, nothing to show for it for Denver.
If the emergency of puck, come on down to the boards. And let's get ready to check your pucks in three, two, one. I am here with Curtis Leonard. Curtis, that was some uh, interesting pass from Matt Neal there. Tell me about uh, the scoring situation that occurred. Uh, yeah, Matt just came around the net. He uh, gave me a pass. I tried to get around the net, and um, nothing really worked out of it, but it was a good play. Yeah, it looked, it looked really cool from our view. But, uh, yeah, with that in mind, what do you think is uh, really big towards getting scoring uh, opportunities and moving up and trying to get more goals, build a lead here? Uh, we just got to keep making smart decisions through the neutral zone, uh, keep pucks in along the walls, and get more pucks to the net. All right, yeah. So now that you're heading into the locker room here, what's going to be the big message uh, for the rest of the team to get them pumped and ready for the last period of play? Oh, uh, we got to start making better puck decisions in our defensive zone. Um, and really, the big focus is get pucks on the net. they got a good goaltender back there. He's a big guy. Uh, get, get, uh, get pucks there and uh, banging some rebounds. All right, cool. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. All right, so that's two away, one to go. You're watching Engineers Hockey live on RPI TV.
like to remind you, WRPI is on the World Wide Web. Point your browser to www.wrpi.org. And you can hear our broadcast 24 hours a day, so seven days a week, so long as WRPI is broadcast. We will have it on the internet feed. Five skaters aside to start the third period. We drop the puck. Engineers have it. Far side neutral zone. Knocked off the stick of Leonard. Into the RPI end. It's picked up by Guy LaBeouf. Fired near side. Off of Neal. All the way down it goes. In on goal. Britain steers it into the far corner. Zajac for the Pioneers. Through center for Shore. Too far for the intended target. RPI back on it. They go D to D. Near side for LaBeouf. Off of Neal into the zone again. He'll fire it off the near side boards. Rolling puck goes past Didier. He takes a hit from Haggerty. Rolls to the far side of the zone, out to center. Shot back in by RPI off the skate of Didier. He'll have to track it down near corner of his own zone. Third period just underway here from the Houston Fieldhouse. 1-1 RPI in Denver. There's a giveaway far side. Picked up by Tenorti. Nearly went down. Nearly lost the puck. Kicked at by Zaleski. Back to Tenorti. Tenorti far side corner. Spins away from traffic to the far point for Dolan. Back to Tenorti. Far side circle. Past Bubella. All the way down low for Zaleski. He gets bumped off the play by Didier. Babella in the corner trying to walk out in front. Is knocked off of his stick into the far corner. Loney's there. Backhands it out to center. He'll be gloved at by Tenorti. This will be a hand pass. No, they wave it off. Should have been a hand pass on RPI. Shot in by Bradley. Pioneers on it. Far side of their own zone. Zajac scoops it high in the air. Finds Allen on the home run ball. Lost his glove. He takes a hit or avoids a hit rather from... Karate now offside is the call as Butcher brought it across the blue line. Go ahead. 1833 left to play in the third. Denver and RPI tied at one. Of course, RPI trying to put the offense on again. Um, coming out, jumping quick into the third period, but uh, Sam Britton and Denver doing a good job of preventing that. Face off. Center ice draw one by the Pioneers. They work it into the zone. Far side off the linesman skate. Sits there for a second. Hampton chopping at it. Gets some help from McGowan ahead to Schrader. Outlet pass near side behind Rogic. He'll control there at the red line right in front of his own bench. Puck pops in the air. Now trickling into RPI territory. Hampton on it. Or Karate rather. Off the near boards. Now offside on Denver once again. 18.09 on the clock. The series heavily favors... Uh, Denver's, they're 11-1 against the engineers all time, which is the worst uh, record for RPI against any opponent in school history. And if the score holds up right now, tied at 1, it could be 11-1-1, one and one, but uh, RPI hoping to get the second win of the series tonight. Of course, the first win came in Seth Appert's first victory as a head coach of the engineers. His pass in front goes all the way through the top of the crease. Net comes way off its mooring, and now we're going to get a whistle and a penalty here on Mark McGowan for interference. Slow to get up behind the RPI cage is Garrett Allen. Second power play chance here coming for the Pioneers. This was uh, definitely a bang-bang play, but uh, I think the uh, fact that there was a cross-ice pass um, helped to get that call against McGowan. So uh, 17.58 left to play in the third. Denver and RPI tied at one. Denver is 0-4 on the power play right now. Once again, the power play hovering right at around 25% for Denver. That's top five in the country. Face off, tip to the far corner. LaBeouf battling for it. There's two pioneers there. Pops free to Higgs. He can't clear it out. Lelegia, far side point to the top of the circle. Down low, shot pops high in the air off the stick save by Diebold. It's behind the cage. Dug free by Quinton Shore. Far point, Lelegia through traffic, save made on a shoulder save, and it's held on to by Diebold once again. 17.33 left to play in the third. Denver RPI tied at one, a minute 35 left to go in the power play uh, for Denver. But it seemed like Denver had a 20-minute power play back in that second period. So uh, we'll see if RPI can kill off just the two minutes unscathed. Face-off win for RPI. Shot off the glass by Bradley. Can't clear the zone. Makowski a drive. Save made by Debo. Rebound can't be stuck home by Loney. He fanned on it. And the engineers can't get it out again. Makowski fires it into the far corner. Rolls up to the far side half wall. Moore walking in. Fed in front. Loose puck on the try. Picked up by Zaleski. He'll clear it all the way down successfully this time. As it'll be stopped by Britton behind his own net. He'll leave it there. RPI will change all four penalty killers. Three minutes into the third period. Another minute six to go. 
on the power play for Denver. That one shot right into the midsection of Leonard, but he can't get it out of the zone. Tried to get some help from Neal. He kicks at it. Loose right at the blue line, far side. It's dug away by Denver. Butcher feeding it in front, looking for Marcinou. Off his stick to the near corner. Loney trying to stick handle away from the buff. He whips it to the far side point. Mikowski there on the backhand keeps it alive. Moore. Knocked off his stick to Marcinou. Top of the far circle, now below the hash marks. Down low, touch pass, try to give it back, and that one does not connect. It'll go all the way down the ice. 30 seconds to go on the McGowan penalty. Both teams will make wholesale changes here. Lalegia through center. Feeds it far side into the zone. Levin. Zajac drops it back to Lalegia, gives it right back to Levin, working it down low below the goal line now. Dolan has his man all tied up. Far side point, Zajac. Near side, Lalegia. To the top of the near circle for sure. He's worked over by Zaleski. Puck wrapped to the far side. And it's Rochik who can't get it out of the zone. Lalegia, high slot. Faked the shot, feeds it in front. It was behind the intended target. Rajik's on it. He'll work it around to the near side corner. Chopped at by Zaleski. We're back to five skaters aside. Zaleski just flip it out to center across ice. Only one there is Zajac for Denver. He'll carry it back in. He'll fire it deep. It'll come down off the glass behind the RPI cage. Dolan out to center. Bouncing puck picked up by Didier. He'll cross center and flip it right back into the RPI zone. Rolls around to the far side corner. Avoids the hit on the far side. Does more. Now at the hash marks. High slot. Touch pass. Mikowski near side. Didier shot through traffic. Sticked into the netting and out of play. No, we play on. It's not out of here. Yes, it was in the net. thought I was seeing things there. They blow it dead here. Face off will come in the RPI zone as it clearly went off of Diebold's stick and into the net. Puck went off the net. Um, late whistle. Um, yeah, the puck did come off the net. It was a I, very I, late I, whistle. They played, um, they played but, uh, a little bit after. 15-14 left to play in the third. RPI one, Denver one. Face off near side RPI zone. Higgs on the draw. Up against Jansen, won by the Pioneers. Pops free of Mikowski, who's trying to walk right to the net. Played back by Haggerty, shot out to center by LaBeouf, controlled by Denver. Mikowski through center. Connects there to Jansen, staying on side of the Pioneers. Walking in far side, Romig. He gets knocked down by LaBeouf. Jansen again on it. Takes a hit from, uh, from LaBeouf, and now stick handling Higgs, nearly lost it, plays it back to LaBeouf off his skate. He'll play it ahead to himself now on the carry. LaBeouf slams it in. It'll roll around and come down near side corner. Scooped out to center by Arnold. All the way down the ice it goes. Not hard enough for icing. Phil Hampton has it for RPI. Long outlet pass connects to the Denver blue line to Borbonet. Shot right on, and the save made. Don't remember the last RPI shot on goal, but there's one from Riley Bourbonnet, top of the circle. Didn't really threaten uh, to score, but Britain had to make the save nonetheless. Yeah, that's all you got to do. Put the uh, puck on net when you can. Uh, Riley Bourbonnet just shooting the puck and trying to make something happen, trying to get a rebound. But uh, unfortunately uh, for Riley Bourbonnet, Sam Britton was there, one of the best goalies in the country. 14-29, left to play in the third, 1-1. Face off picked away by the Pioneers. Two on two out to center. Of course, well wide, and of course, in the dump there was Hampton. Karate gets on it far side, trying to feed it up the boards for DeVito. DeVito backtracks a bit into his own end with the more pressure coming. Now, Karate spins away from a four checker, rolls up the far boards out to center, picked up by Johnny Rogic. Trying to move into the zone, lost the handle. Taken back over by Denver, now back to their own zone near corner. Neville, bank pass off the backboards, finds Will Butcher. Butcher carries up through center. 13.55 to go in the third. A 1-1 game here, RPI and Denver. Dolan lost the handle. Thought he was going to try and clear it around, but he ends up losing the puck. Loose now in the near corner towards the point. Not enough on it for Didier to commit to the play. And he'll be flipped into the zone by Bourbonnet. Takes a funny hop, but it's able to be steered along by Britton. Out to center goes the puck again. Now towards the Denver blue line, it'll be controlled by Moore. Backhands it further up the near wall. It'll go all the way deep past Leonard. Bradley, far side for Babella. Spins away, moves it out to center. Nice pass for Tenorti. Chipping off the far wall, taken back over by Allen. He finds Didier near side of his own zone. Out to center, long cross-ice pass. Connects there to Zajac, it was behind him. He'll backtrack a bit. Now feeding it near side for Allen. Allen trying to get around LaBeouf, and that's not going to happen. LaBeouf just knocks him down and takes the puck away. D. LaBeouf, far side neutral zone on the carry all by himself. He'll dump it in and chase after it. Four engineers change behind him. LaBeouf still on the pressure. 
Shot off the near side boards, kept in by Haggerty. Into the skates of Higgs. Trying to feed it further, he's tripped up by Shore. Now Haggerty has it in the near corner. He's tied up there. Looks like Didier has him pinned up against the boards. Trying to kick it back to Higgs and does in the circle near side looking for Neal. Higgs picks it up, shot, save, rebound is loose. Now it's covered. And we get a lot of whistles here as Higgs was crashing, but cool as the cucumber there with Sam Britton just flips the puck out into the circle, says I had it all along. And it looked like kind of a frantic play for everybody but the goaltender. Yeah, I also think there was a... No, I thought there was an early whistle, but looking at the replay, there, was, there wasn't. Uh, Britton clearly had it. 12.37 left to play in the third. 1-1 one one RPI and Denver. Faceoff coming near side, Denver zone. Taken back quickly by the engineers after it looked like Denver had it, won it. Pinching up the far boards is Bradley, but he overskates the puck and now will allow uh, Denver back the other way. Two on two, maybe a three on two to the line. A shot saved by Diebold. The net comes off. Full splits there for Scott Diebold. Had to get all the way across the net. Looked like Tabram led the charge. And I'm not sure who got that shot away. Might have been Loney. Uh, but it looked like Diebold made the save in the end. Yeah, nice nice save by Diebold. Diebold doing a great job um, in goal today. Keeping the engineers in this one. Um, and when he made the save, the net came off. But he made the save first. And that's all that matters. Um, 12:21 left to play in the third. RPI and Denver tied at one. It's actually, uh, the, it's actually the third man in, Quentin Shore, who got the shot off, and Diebold did indeed make a nice save uh, to deny him there. Yeah, he, Shore just uh, sort of snuck in and got the shot off. Face-off win for the Engineers. Brock Higgs has it behind the net, finds the defenseman Dolan. Long outlet pass looking for Neal. Goes right through him. In on goal. So no icing on RPI. Left to the side of the cage by Britton. Now a giveaway there. But good poke check to recover by Jansen. Two on two comes Denver the other way. Arnold into the zone. Top of the far circle. Wrist one. On goal. Save made by Diebold. Go puck goes behind the cage. Roaming back to the point. Rister comes in on goal. May have taken a deflection. But Diebold made the stop anyway. Far side. Arnold leaves it there. Lalegia. Walking in, goes behind the net, still Lelegia to the near point. A one-timer save, or may have been blocked. He might have hit the, his own man in front of him, Jansen. Either way, the puck stays out. Neal the center now, crosses the red line. Scoops it high in the air, comes down in the near corner. Schrader trying to spin and wildly throw a backhand out in front, but he mostly fanned on the play. Puck comes free behind the cage now. McGowan poking at it with Bourbonnet. Free to the near side, Mikowski outlet pass. This will be icing. It'll be uncontested race for Guy LaBeouf down the ice, forcing the icing call. 11-16 left in the third. We're still tied at one. Yeah, and uh, right now it looks like RPI relying a little bit uh, on flash too much. Uh, they just got to get the puck and, and shoot it to the net and uh, maintain control of it. That's going to win your hockey games. Face off, push behind the net. Borbonet is the first one there for RPI. Looking to feed in front. Haggerty fan on the one-timer. was... Ken cuffs him just a bit. Now the puck out to center as Bradley couldn't keep it in the zone. Chris Bradley off the near wall, finds Borbonet, scoops it deep once again. Makowski, the first one there for Denver. Backhands it far side for La Raza. He takes a hit, and he and Borbonet both go down. Puck back out to center. Karate throws a check into his man. That's Marsanu. Loose in the neutral zone, chopped at by Karate once again. Comes right to the stick of Zajac. He'll skate with it slowly up ice. Now to the RPI zone, flips it high in the air, comes down behind the net. Hampton, backhanded at it, missed it, gets it back, and now he'll play it up the far boards for Babella. Babella with two men on him, plays it back behind the cage, off the bank for Karate. Now near side out to center for Tenorti, into the zone, just on side. No, they'll say Babella didn't keep that skate on the blue line. We'll have a stoppage here. With, it's about halfway through this third period. 10-26 remaining in the third, RPI and Denver tied at one, of course. RPI trying to find their offense again that they had in the first period and uh, Denver's doing a pretty good job of not letting them find that and unleashing it. 1-1 RPI in Denver. Neutral zone. Leonard shoots it in softly. It'll roll around behind the near side corner. Allen feeding it forward. More with speed to the neutral zone. Chips it off the wall and trying to get to it himself. Curtis Leonard the first one there for RPI. Near side half wall. DeVito poking at it. Ahead to Zaleski. Throws it cross ice, but nobody home. Zajac on it for Denver. Backtracking to his own end. Finds his defensive partner in Neville. He'll skate up to center. Pass back for Zajac. Past his skate. Doesn't control. He'll have to go back and get it in the far corner of his own end. 
Up the far boards for Moore. Takes a hit from Bubella. DeVito comes away with it at center ice. Playing it near side for Dolan. Too far for him. He'll have to track it down in his end. Around behind to the far side corner. Off the glass by LaBeouf. All the way down the ice. Bouncing puck. They wave off the icing as it bounces and skips to the goal line. But not enough on it. Mikowski has it now for Denver. Off the near side wall. Two center ice. Tipped through. And now a loose puck looking for Loney. Scooped out to center by the engineer. Neville goes D to D to Mikowski. Cross ice connects again. Actually, Butcher there. Excuse me. Higgs back on it now for RPI on the interception. Neal into the zone. Has a man wide. He finds him. It's Haggerty. He skips right by him. Turning and shooting Haggerty. Goes well wide behind the cage. Picked up by Denver. Higgs breaks that up for a second. Near side half boards. Butcher being pressured by Neal. Works it free to Higgs. Higgs works down low for Neal again. Neal to the point for Karate. Finds him. Karate right back down low off the wall for Neal. Knocked off his stick. Picked up by Mikowski. Scooped in the air. Bouncing and spinning it goes. Down the ice. Finally comes flat. It'll be icing. No, they wave it off. Turning and flipping the puck up the ice there is Karate. Tipped in neatly by, uh, by Haggerty rather. And now Denver back on it here. Near side corner. Neville. In the air again. Looking for that near side. Hit off the buff. Carrying to the zone just on side was Jansen. He takes a hit from the buff. Now Leonard is checked by Arnold. Engineers are on the puck, and they flip it back the other direction. Rolling puck. Schrader's going to get there, but Britton comes out to play it, and he spins it to the near corner of his own zone. Jansen up ahead to Arnold. Scooped high in the air. Bounces down at the RPI blue line. Trying to get on the end of it was Ronig. Drops it back in the slot. Arnold trying to turn and shoot. Now a shot was blocked there on the try. That time it was Lalegio. Out to center goes the puck. Loose in the neutral zone. Kicked at and shot in by Romig. Scott Diebold stops it there. 7.45 to go in the third in a 1-1 game. There's a clean giveaway. Centering pass goes through everybody. Picked up far side. Zajac a one-timer that's tipped over the top there by Levin. Into the near corner it goes. Marcinou hit there by Zaleski. Tenorti out to center. Rolling puck will go all the way down the ice. This one surely will be icing and it is. 7.28 left to play in the third. Denver and RPI tied at one. Shots right now 33-17 in favor of the Pioneers. So uh, RPI trying to get the change and the referee saying, no, you can't do that. So Seth Aber takes his time. This is basically par for the course here for RPI and Coach Appert taking that time out in this situation. Long shift and an icing call late in the game, in a tie game. So with 7.28 to go in the third period, we do our, have ourselves a tie game. Just a chance to let you know you're listening to live coverage of RPI Hockey 91.5 FM, WRPI Troy. Carlos Garrison, Edgar Garrion, and uh, it's really been a back and forth game uh, so far. Uh, RPI scoring that early goal. The shots would, would suggest that Denver's controlled things, and they have had a decent amount of possession. But scoring, but scoring chances wise, I have to think they're pretty even. Both goaltenders making some big stops in this game. Yeah, uh, pretty even, but uh, Diebold making the better. Both goaltenders making pretty decent stops, yes. But uh, Diebold had to make them more difficult. Um, I, I, I think Britain is making some good quality saves, but you know he's making them look, look easy. Diebold's not, and I think that's where a lot of the rebounds are coming from. 7.28 left to play in the third. 1-1 one one, RPI and Denver as the timeout is now over. And we're going to get the faceoff. Faceoff here. To the left of Scott Diebold. Won by the Engineers. Bradley has it behind the net. Taken back over by Moore. Centering pass out in front and nearly got to his intended target. It took a deflection. Or the Pioneers would have had an easy stuff goal at the far point. Or far side of the net, rather. Engineers back the other way. Kept in near point by Bradley. Rolled around to the half wall. Neal cycles it for Higgs. Trying to give it back. It's actually Haggerty will get to it. Quick. First time on the near side corner. Back to the far side. Now it's Higgs. He cycles for Neal. Neal takes a bump. 
trying to feed out in front. It's loose and is going to be gloved by Britton. Tough play there on the far side. Higgs just kind of threw it at the net, and it ended up uh, being a dangerous scoring chance there for RPI in the end. Yeah, and also Britton had Haggerty uh, swatting not the puck for any rebound, so uh, it was a battle between Britton and Haggerty, and Britton just won because uh, Britton was able to uh, love it down. 6.51 left to play in the third, 1 1 RPI in Denver. Near side corner. Babella trying to play it over to. Borbonet now fighting for it is Zaleski high slot wins the puck throws it towards the net it was deflected by Levin and goes wide Leonard now pinching in off to Babella Babella on the move poked off his stick towards the point Zaleski's there he'll just filter it right back down low again Borbonet trying to touch it over picked up by Zaleski Zaleski goes behind the net trying to shield the puck Taken over by Milos Babella top of the far circle he's being pressured looks to cycle Borbonet gets rid of it quickly and finds Zaleski Zaleski spinning around, far side hash marks. Still Zaleski trying to walk right in, is poked away, and then a shot from a, uh, Babella goes wide. He kind of just chopped at it. Now Babella trying to work off the wall, poked off his stick again. Here is Marcinu to center for Levin. Chips it softly into the zone near side, turned around by McGowan out to Tenorti. Babella spins back to his own zone, plays it back to LaBeouf. The buff off the glass to center. Bouncing puck McGowan will shoot it in. Rolls behind the Denver goal. Stopped there by Britton. Zajac leaves it for Mikowski. Mikowski far side boards out to center ice. It'll be gloved down now with three on three in the neutral zone, but not going anywhere. Chopped back the other way by Zajac. Tenorti the first one there for RPI. He's tied up by Shore. Puck comes free to the near side RPI zone. On it for a second was Zaleski, and Hampton helps it out of the zone. Neutralized, now picked up by Schrader. Karate will carry in far side. He'll scoop it off the wall and chase it down himself. Approaching five minutes to go, third period in a tie game, 1-1. Puck rolls to the near side corner. Kneels there, he's tied up. Higgs fakes a shot, he'll carry into the corner. He'll roll it to the far side where there's nobody there. Roman gets there first for Denver, moves it out to center, turn right back around by the engineers. Neal will carry into the zone, trying to walk around Makowski. Back to the point for Bradley. He'll shoot it deep, rolls right past Higgs, around behind for Haggerty. Haggerty makes a move, trying to step around his man. Good defensive play by Doremus. And now Doremus will carry to center off the leg of Higgs, chipped into the RPI zone. Bradley trying to get past Moore, wins the race to the puck, but he's tied up by Moore. Now toward the near side half wall, Neal's there. At the end of a shift, he'll just chip it deep. Rolling puck, Haggerty will get there. Engineers with a couple of them will change behind the play at least. Haggerty on it, trying to flip it back towards the point. Bouncing puck out to the neutralized territory. Engineers have a touch up, they do. Fanning on the dump in there was Leonard. Picked back up by RPIs. Rogic playing back to the buff. Near side chip in DeVito. Race for the puck. Butcher and Borbonet go into it. Near side corner now. DeVito. Feeding it back to LaBeouf. Tried to chip it in. Comes right to Butcher. They'll move it out to center. Outlet pass behind Allen. Picked up by DeVito for the Engineers. Feeding ahead for Borbonet. Now Rogic. Near side circle. Quick shot from a tight angle. Saved again by Britton. And he has that kind of move where after he makes that save, he'll just kind of casually flip the puck back to the dot. Almost uh, not really taunting, but uh, there's going to be a better word for it. But just uh, showing he's in control of the situation. Yeah, and... RPI now trying to find their offense. They're doing it to an extent. Denver doing a great job pinning them against the boards and behind the net. Knowing RPI can't score a goal if they're behind the net. 3.47 left to play in the third. 1-1 RPI in Denver. Face-off win defensively for the Pioneers. That one bounces off of Hampton on the pinch. Zaleski in the corner. Nice job to spin free. Loses an edge and goes down but keeps the puck. Terrific play by Zaleski. We've seen him do that so often. Stay on the puck regardless of what his feet are doing. And now Babella comes away with a pile with it, looking to center, turning and shooting, loose to the side of the crease. Another shot is going to be covered up by Britton. The engineer is lucky to get two cracks at it there. Now Zaleski takes a little bit of an exception there uh, from LaRaza, who had him tied up after the play, and they're still needing to be separated. Yeah, puck was loose, both teams fighting for it, and uh, LaRaza just took Zaleski and sort of spun him around, grabbed him by the jersey, and Zaleski said, hey, I didn't like it. They're still going at it right now. <laughs> Um, as LaRaza was just saying, hey, I'm just trying to get to my bench. And Zaleski went into into his face and still had a few words. and said, hey, I'm not done with you yet. 
324 left to play in the third, 1-1 RPI in Denver. Have to say, happy to see that fight in the engineers in this tie game as the puck hops into the Denver bench. We'll have another stoppage here. In a game in the third period, which hasn't had a whole lot going on in it. Engineers creating a couple scoring chances in, in that effort there. Only two penalties each way. Of course, two, both teams 0 for 2 on the man advantage. Face-off win, neutral zone for Denver, back to their own end. It's Didier, near side. Fires it far side onto the tape, Loney Walking to the slot of Rister, stick save off the, high off the glass on the stop uh, by Diebel. Played around behind to the near side corner. Engineers out to center ice, it's Neal, scooping it far side for Higgs. To the blue line, helped further by Haggerty. Far corner, Higgs is there. He's tied up by Didier, goes headlong into the board, mostly on his own accord. He's fine, puck out to center. Dolan has it. Fans on the dump in. Sure. And the neutral zone stops and just dumps it in. Comes in on goal. Sticked away by Diebel. Shot off the near side boards. Actually gloved at by McGowan. He has it now right in front of his own bench. Scooped off the wall. Engineers are offside there as Rajik brought it into the zone very clearly offside. Two and a half to go in the third period. Near score, or excuse me, a tie game 1 1. Yeah, Rajik just brought that in and uh, offside. I think uh, Denver. Failed on a clearing attempt, um, and Rajik thought, "Hey, I'll just take the puck," not realizing his teammate was offside. Ball start on the draw. We'll do it again. And they're going to put one second back on the clock. Very precise here. Maybe they're not. They're going to hold it a second. Just as easy. That one scooped into the crowd by Curtis Leonard. 2.24 left to play in the third. Denver and RPI still tied at one. Both teams had their chances this period. Uh, RPI getting lucky that uh, a Denver Pioneer missed a point blank, clearing a uh, centering pass and couldn't put the puck in the net. Engineers being their goal in the first period. Brock King scoring his 12th of the year. Dave Mikowski getting his 6th of the season for Denver. Here, here, excuse me, not here. It was in the second period to tie the game at one. Again, another very late whistle uh, resulting in an offside. So we're going to get a face-off outside of the Denver zone. Of course, these two teams meet again tomorrow night, so uh, the little kind of individual battles we're seeing here surely will carry over as far as uh, Emotions go. That's the, the beauty of the two-game series. Even in the non-conference play such as this. Sonority into the zone. Zaleski helps it further behind the net. Zajac has already pinned up against the wall to the point. Shot was deflected high off the glass. Stays in the rink. Now a shot off the back of the net by Babella. Comes out to the center. Picked up by Karate. Neutral zone. To the blue line. Zaleski turns and just flips it in. It's as far as the hash mark. Zajac will pick it up for DU and spin around in his own end. Far side connects there. Levin skating near side. Trying to get around Higgs and Haggerty. Gets it as far as the RPI blue line before taking a hit. Karate back the other way. Now a chance for the engineers. High slot. Haggerty. Rister. That one's blocked by Butcher. You can just feel the engineers fans hold their breath when Ryan Haggerty has the puck in the slot. That time, Butcher made the block on the play. Le Levin is offside. Now they touch up. Picked up and a shot saved by Diebold. Engineers kind of stopped there because a couple of uh, Pioneers were offside. That allowed Marsenu to just go and get the puck. Now it's in the zone the other way. Come the Engineers. Haggerty makes a move. Rister and a save on the glove by the goaltender, Britton. 57.1 seconds remaining in the, the third period. Of course, Ryan Haggerty has... Uh, the puck, so fans expect a lot when Haggerty has it. And uh, right in the gangway beneath us, a little hallway, is Santa. He has a sign that says, "All I want for Christmas is an RPI win." So, oh. so even Santa Claus is is an engineer fan, apparently. To the near point, LaBeouf a drive. He hammered it wide intentionally, trying to turn and shoot. There was Rajik. Back to the point near side, LaBeouf again. Two traffic hits a body loose in the slot that'll allow Denver to skate back the other way into the zone. Shot that goes wide on the try by Doremus. Didn't really threaten goal. Now it's shot back the other way by the Engineers. Turned back around by Denver into the zone. Once again is Daniel Doremus. 
Roaming. Up ahead. Kept in the zone by Mikowski. Bouncing puck behind the RPI net. LaBeouf for Leonard in the near corner now. 18 seconds to go in regulation. High in the air and out of play. And I believe the fans are cheering. Somebody gloved that puck or grabbed it. Not sure who. That's what the round of applause was for. They're deciding where this faceoff is going to come. And it's pretty important here with just 14.6 seconds. If the faceoff's in the RPI zone, things will be drawn up a little bit differently. Denver may even take a timeout. It looks like Coach Montgomery or Jim Montgomery over there using that brief break as almost a mini timeout to try and organize things. Engineers load up two, three men on the uh, center ice hash mark on this draw. And it's tied up on the spot. Still no one clear control of it. Kicked along by LaBuffa. Go behind the net for sure. Taken over by Levin. Towards the front. Swatted away by Milos Babella. Shot from the near point. Deflects off a body and goes wide. And we have overtime. Extra hockey here again at the field house as it's one-to-one -one RPI in Denver. So you're listening to 91.5 FM WRPI Troy. Coverage of engineer men's hockey here from the field house. Score here after three periods of play is RPI 1, Denver 1. Ed DeGarry along with Perilous Garris here on the call for you. So 21 saves for Britain. Through three and 35 saves for Diebold through three periods. So we'll take a short break, or the players will rather, not us. No, not enough time for that. For the third period into overtime. Shots uh, 36 to 22, Denver. Uh, through three periods. Faceoffs engineers with a narrow 34 to 31 edge. As I mentioned, uh, two power plays each way. Both teams 0 for 2. Six power play shots for the Pioneers to just two for the engineers. Scott Diebel turning in a very solid outing here between the pipes for RPI. He's been uh, superb in stepping in to a role he may not have expected when the season started. Of course, all eyes were on Jason Kasdorf, last year's uh, freshman sensa sensation in goal for the engineers, but uh, not to be. Kasdorf hurt early on in the season, really just uh, a game and a couple periods in for Jason Kasdorf out for the year. And uh, Scott Diebold has taken over and uh, done an admirable job, to say the least. Uh, comes into tonight's play, 7-4-3. 229 goals against average, 916 save percentage. Uh, those would all be uh, career best for him and really playing consi consistently, much like a, a hitter in baseball. The numbers will be more uh, apparent of your overall skill and ability when you're able to play every day. We've seen that from Scott Diebold. He's able to suit up every night and know he's the starting goaltender, and th the numbers have been good in this case. Ready for overtime. Engineers skating from left to right here to get things started. Five on five hockey into the zone. Higgs will scoop it high in the air and out into the netting directly. So the faceoff will come outside the zone. Not what you wanted if you're RPI here. Top line on the ice. You win the draw. And then you give another faceoff opportunity here. Eight seconds gone in overtime. Of course, RPI trying to get a victory here. Shot in far side by the Engineers. Britton will hop it along to the near side corner for Zajac. Shoots it off the glass, and this one leaves the ice surface. And uh, now Zajac a little bit flummoxed as he doesn't understand how that puck left his stick and left the ice surface either, but it'll be a faceoff now in the offensive zone for the Engineers. RPI keeping that top line out there. Although I believe Matt Neal stepped on. So Higgs, Neal, and Haggerty trying to find that game-winning goal in OT. Face-off won by the Pioneers. Loney 
out to center ice. He's tied up by Neal. Turn around and shot it back in. Comes to the side of the net. Didier trying to avoid the forecheck pressure from Higgs. Bounces one off the glass out to center. Into the zone shore. High slot wrister save. Rebound knocked away. Kept in the zone, however, by Marcinou. Near side corner RPI zone. Gloving at it there was Shore. He's being rubbed off the play by Bradley. Still tied up near corner. Higgs comes over to help. Now puck comes free. LaBeouf fires it far side for Neal. He'll just scoop it in on goal. Comes up right into the midsection of Britain, but he gets rid of it quickly as there was not immediate pressure. Stopping behind his own net now is Butcher. Plays it far side for Mikowski. Outlet pass to the red line. They tip it deep. No icing. Race for the puck. First one there is going to be Doremus. He gets hit by Dolan. They're pinned up again in the near corner. Three engineers, two pioneers. And the puck's still in there. Scrapping away for it. Doremus is in there, as is Zaleski. Now Leonard just comes and jumps on top of the hog pile. Puck's still not loose. Scoop towards the point. Moore on it for a second. Swatted off the wall by Leonard. Around to the far side for Babella. He lets it run for Zaleski. Pass was behind. Dolan comes all the way through to Tenorti. Into the Denver zone comes Matt Tenorti on the move. Into the corner now. Tenorti works it behind the net for Babella. Babella trying to shield with his body. Good poke check by Doremus to knock it free. Into the far corner it goes. Tenorti now with three minutes to go in overtime. RPI in Denver tied at one. Pinching in is Hampton below the goal line. Feeding it behind for Babella. Babella's tied up by Doremus. Tried to walk away with the puck. Didn't have it. Pioneers on it now. Moore out to center. Too far for the intended target. Backhanded back in by Hampton. First one there is going to be Butcher for Denver. Pressure comes from McGowan. Butcher back to Mikowski. Off the far wall. Down the ice it goes. The wave off the icing. Say it was deflected. LaBeouf behind his own net far corner. Takes the puck. Shoots it off the glass. Out towards the point. Kept in there by Didier. Now out to center. Lelegia back to Didier. Pass out in front of Levin. Chopped back out to center by LaBeouf. Loose in the neutral zone. Schrader will just fire it back into the Denver zone. First one there, Matt Neal. Backhands it far side corner for Higgs. Higgs stops with it there. Down low looking for Schrader. Schrader ties up with his man Levin. Pinching in Bradley. Puck gets by him. Possible two on two chance. LaRaza into the zone. Feeds it across far side. Turning and shooting. They score! It's a goal for Emil Romig. And Denver takes game one of this two-game series, 2-1 to one in OT. Uh, very disappointing for RPI. Uh, you know, again, it's the aggressive style of the defenders. Uh, they, they're pinching down and they give up those odd man rushes. And you can just see it developing as uh, the goal scorer was for Denver. Was Ronig. Um, was Ronig. And he was wide open all along on the far side of the blue line. There was two RPI defenders taking the shooter. And it left Ronig wide open as uh, it just put it right by Diebold. Um, and RPI, you know, they had this one one to nothing. And I, I don't know what it was, uh, but it's that aggressive style. They, the defenders pinched down. And it causes a lot of odd man rushes, and it did there. And uh, just put it by Diebold. And, you know, Diebold played a great game just because, you know, RPI lost this one 2-1 to one doesn't mean, uh, you know, is, this one's not on Diebold at all. Certainly not. And you look at the, the play uh, made there by Chris Bradley. He looked to pinch up the near boards. Puck was kind of in the air, kind of an in-between territory. And uh, in overtime game, engineers playing pretty aggressively. Uh, on the forecheck, and at that point, uh, Bradley pinched in maybe when he shouldn't have. It, it turned into a, a, kind of a two-on-two, but if one of your defensemen's Matt Neal and he's skating, uh, facing his own goal, it's tougher a lot of times for, for those wingers like Neal uh, to try and make a play in the puck. And uh, really was a kind of a two-on-one there for Denver turning into that game-winning goal. So the goal for Emil Romig is the, the second of the season for him. So, yeah, I mean, a lot of coulda, woulda, shoulda here for RPI. You know, if they didn't have the second period like they did and kept up offensive pressure, you know, maybe they could have got a goal or two. Um, it almost looked like RPI in that overtime period was like, okay, you know, Haggerty can't score, Higgs can't score. 
So we're just, when we change lines, we're just going to hold and wait till they get out there again to see if we can score. And, uh, I mean, yeah, it's, uh, it was uh, 38 shots for Denver. It was just one of those games. Not a lot happened. I think that's kind of the game that Denver likes to play. And whether they get the 38 shots or, or not is, re regardless of how, what those numbers look like, they like to play the low-scoring uh, one, two goal games, and that's what they got here. And of course, uh, their goaltender was big. He's not only. Uh